Hello friends. Today's video is one where we have to go down into the bowels of my basement because as usual, the star of the show is my Blue Eddy AC 200 Max and a new partner for the Blue Eddy Max today is this, our furnace. And what we're gonna be doing today is showing you a safe and efficient way to back up your power by using the Blue Eddy to run your furnace and doing it safely and effectively. Now, this furnace is hooked up in the usual manner. You can see this line here coming from the panel. And then from there, it goes into an on and off switch, which is code. And then that line carries on around and down. Like so. Into the side of the furnace. Now there's different ways to do this. I've seen some other YouTube channels that have done it, and um, I believe the way they have done it might not be the safest way, and it could put folks in a situation they don't want to be in, um, the way it was hooked up. So I'm going to show you a proper way to do it, and I'm going to show you some different options. So let's go look at the options, and then we'll come back. Option number one can be found on Amazon for $209 plus tax. And it's called the Easy Generator Switch. And it's basically a manual generator switch. It has three positions. Normal, which would let power come through from the main panel. Generator, which would bypass the power from the main panel and take the power from the receptacle on the device and then it has off so you can have no power going to the furnace whatsoever. Number two is another single transfer switch from Reliance Controls Corporation. They call it Easy Tran Transfer Switch for generators up to 1875 watts. Now this one basically functions the same as the other one except this one has a built-in fuse for uh, just in case the uh, amperage gets up above 15 amps. It also has a three-way switch, generator off and line. As we explained before, line is the power coming from the panel. Generator is coming from the built-in receptacle on the switch. And this one also has an added feature of a wiring pigtail that comes out of the bottom of this generator box, goes into your panel and alleviates the need to knowing how to power or um, which lines hooked up to what in the panel to create the transfer. Now the third and final method, and this is the one that I chose, as it doesn't require you to stick your hands inside the furnace and it doesn't require you to open the panel in your home. And to me, for the do-it-yourselfer, that's a really important uh, guideline to follow. This one will get mounted in a box up near the furnace switch and just be in line with the, uh, with, the, with the power after the switch going into the furnace. This allows me to put my Blue Eddy anywhere in my house I can actually put it right in the uh, furnace room if I will, and I will run a fairly short five to 10 foot at the most extension cord from the Blue Eddy 15 amp outlet directly into the uh, inlet on this particular switch or plug. Okay, through the power of video, I'm all set. 
my friendly electrician came in and installed this plug for me. And you can see Which is off at the moment. The breaker is off to the furnace. You can see it was wired in correctly using proper fittings and on this side as well. And everything is safe and secure. So Let's turn on the Blue Eddy. Okay, Blue Eddy is on. Here's the cord coming from the uh, furnace. Plug it into one of the 20 amp circuits. AC is on. So we're at 45 watts, 38, let's go back to the furnace, so you can see, there she's lighting up. Back to the Blue Eddy. She's pulling thirty nine watts. Now, as I had said earlier in the video, the furnace runs on a DC powered motor which is very efficient so I'm not sure what time it is at the present moment as I can't see it on my uh, phone that I'm filming from okay so now we're up to 100 200 watts 210 14 20 22 28, 29, 30. Let's see where she goes. Now I do have a modulating furnace. So the heat or the fan goes up gradually as required. The heat has been off for a while. But as you can see, with this scenario, my Blue Eddy is about 15 feet from the furnace so there's no restriction on where the blue eddy can be in the home and you can see up there on the cord it's one of those cords that lights up so you know there's power to it the cores are all cool it's a heavy duty cord Now the reason I went with this scenario, as I explained earlier, was I didn't want to wire in anything at my panel for this situation. Because when you do that, you're somewhat limiting where your Blue Eddy can be placed. 
and I wanted the blue eddy to be in a in a spot wherever I wanted to put it. As I have other devices in my basement, like there, we have a freezer, and there's a another fridge uh, around the corner in the, the other area. So I can run multiple cords from the Blue Eddy here. Now, the other thing that is really cool and, and uh, you know, with all the research I've done with Blue Eddy and solar panels and such, um, I'll be receiving my PV350 panels in the next uh, couple of days. And in this situation, I have a, a 40 foot cable for those solar panels and I'm able to set those up outside and they'll probably on a good day pull in over 300 watts. We'll do a test. They'll pull in over 300 watts of uh, power. So hopefully the Blue Eddy will basically be running neutral running my furnace and that's ideal. So, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video on how to run your furnace with uh, a Blue Eddy. Um, please subscribe to my channel if uh, you found this helpful. And hit that like button. That really helps out the channel and allows me to bring you lots of good information uh, about Blue Eddy and other things that uh, I do videos about and share it uh, on social media or with your friends on Facebook or Instagram or TikTok or whatever the case may be to get the word out for us folks that have Blue Eddies and um, you wanna help people be able to have backups in their home in emergencies. Because as we can see here, if we're aver averaging 250 watts, I'll get at least eight to 10 hours of runtime running the furnace if it was running constantly, which it generally doesn't do that in my home. So as I said, thank you very much for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next one. That'll be the uh, next video that I do on Blue Eddy uh, backups and, and so on. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye, friends.